it was nice. We didn't go too mad. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we bought a few really good bits at a good price that hopefully we can make a good profit on. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And welcome to a brand new video. We're Global Thrifters. My name's Jack. And I'm Emily. And together we're a full-time reseller couple here in the UK. So in today's video, we're going to be going to the car boot. We are free. <laughs> yeah, back buying again. We have really missed it, but we have got rid of a lot of the backlog, which is good. So yeah, you're going to see us go to the car boot. And then when we get back, we'll show you what we got. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also the bell to be notified for any future content. And without further ado, let's get, get thrifty. It is cold this morning. All right, let's get some money out. Let's get to the car boot. So we just got to the car boot. It coffee is first. <laughs> yeah, we've got to have coffee. It is dark. Let me spin you around. Some of the cars are just pulling in. Yeah, it will be torch duty today. We don't actually need to come buying. We don't need. We don't need to buy anything. We've still got plenty of stuff to clear <laughs> to clear to get rid of. But we're allowed to. Yeah, so. like we want to come have a look, you know. And it's that just to get out of the house. You might find a gem, obviously, and it's just nice. It, obviously, it's been a month. We haven't been to a car boot. So we're gonna take you guys with us, and let's see what we find. Good to be back, though. Yeah. Well, for as long as we can. Yeah. Is that a burner? Yeah, yeah. Of some sort. <laughs> How much is it anyway? Uh, it's a tenner, yeah. A bit different, isn't it? Well, yeah. You got a five of change, bud? Uh, yeah. Cheers, So we're going to have one last look around before we head off, but yeah, we've done alright, bought a few bits, more than we were planning. Come on, 80 quid. I, I won't talk bad about you then. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> And you don't want to put them back in the car, you don't want to take them to four. Oh, I don't mind. No, you don't, tomorrow morning. Nah, they're heavy, these boxes. You don't want to put them in the car. Sorry. Oh, he's having me. 90 quid, boss. Go on. 95, come on. Hey, you like robbery now? Look at it, the sun's come up. Oh, no, it's lovely, <laughs> isn't it? Look at that morning. Look at that, that's beautiful. Thank you very much, sir. You got a ten of change? What? Five of change. I've got a five. Two. Thank you very much, sir. Right, so we are finished. Yep, so it's been a good morning. I'm glad to be back. It's nice to have a rummage around. Hello, Kieran. <laughs> And see some friendly faces yeah exactly keeping distance yes but yeah so we've got a few bits not we haven't gone crazy no we've got maybe three bagfuls which may be crazy for some people i don't know but <laughs> that's, for us. that's okay so yeah we're gonna get back and then we'll show you what we've got right we are back yes so a bit of a change of scenery we're in our van <laughs> yeah we're gonna do a little haul from the van only because we've been clearing so much of the <laughs> Oh, just the chimp talking. A bit rude. Not M. Hooray! <laughs> so much backlog, we've sorted out indoors. So yeah, the sofa where we usually use is covered and stuff. So we're going to just do this here and crap back on with work indoors. So let's show you what we got, what we paid and what we hope to sell it for. Let's, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we bought a bundle of toys for £20 and <laughs> he was in there. So this is the Fur Real Friends chimp very noisy yeah he's the cuddle chimp he's from i think 2005 2007 made by hasbro Targa. same brand as furby so it's pretty furbalicious oh dear <laughs> but yeah it's an interactive toy the only one available right now is for 50 pounds but that's with the little banana that comes with it so we're going to aim around the 30 pound mark 35 maybe but yeah it would have cost us a couple of pounds in the bundle so next up in the 20 pound bundle was this godzilla battle action figure. So I think it's like an electronic sort of room guard uh, sort Yeah, I of think toy. I can hold it at the back here and it should. Oh, the tail moves. Look yeah, that. and the arms move. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, like we said, it, we didn't really pay much for it. It was in the bundle and we're going to list this for 25. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Late 90s and yeah, anything Godzilla, that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, King Kong can be really popular. Okay, and some plush toys. Pick these ones up because they still got the tags. This is How to Train Dragon, 
Um, I believe it's toothless. And this is the bunny from Toy Story 4. Neither of them are big money. Mm -hmm. We'll probably ask about 10 each. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 including postage. But again, it wouldn't have cost us much. Maybe a pound each, 50 pence, that sort of thing. And they got the tag, so hopefully they don't stick around long and sell quickly before Christmas. Talking about Christmas, we've got this Disney store, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, hugging a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's got a battery compartment, so we have to test that. But we've seen one sell online for £15, so we're going to aim for that as well. Again, this is all in the £20 bundle. Okay, and now the last few things from the bundle. One was this cute little Snorlax. This is from 2000 and it's around £10 free postage but I think we've got a couple of other small pocky pockies <laughs> lying around so we're going to do a little bundle. Yeah, bundle it up. And then this is quite cool. This is all Fisher Price toys. Like I said, last in the £20 bundle. So £20 for all this stuff is really good price. Okay, and included is Fisher Price fire engine, chatterbox phone. Then we've got a drum and some instruments in here. And we've got a little Snoopy pull along dog and a little music box that one's cute. yeah that one's cool so they're all like 70s and they're just yeah we've done well on some old fisher price stuff before not sure the price on these but at a guess i'd say at least 20 pound for all the fisher price toys here that pays for the bundle but we've already seen what the other stuff's hopefully going to sell for so some good healthy profit the next up is a fireplace companion set the brass one with wooden handles we sold two recently, um, it's a time of year now, mm -hmm. as the autumn months come in. So yeah, I'm hoping this doesn't sit around too long. What do you pay? We paid £3 and we're hoping minimum 15 to 20 yeah. but hopefully a little bit more. Yeah, I think £20 from that, I'll be very happy. So you guys know we love our Power Rangers swords. We bought this one, this is from Mystic Force 2005, but this one's not worth as much. But we only paid a pound and we should get around £9 to £10. Yeah, yeah. Postage, so. happy with that. So as always, always pick up a light or two. <laughs> really like this one. Bulkhead light, brass with an enamel back. Definitely got some age to it. Can't find a name on it anywhere, but we only paid £2, which, yeah, I would have paid... I would have paid at least 10. So I was very happy at two pound. Value wise, not sure. Minimum, I'd say 30 to 40. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really cool piece. Tempted to keep it. We don't have that, I don't even have a house yet, so we don't even know where we'd put it. But I think we'll sell it, you know? It is cool though. It is cool. But yeah, two pound into hopefully 40. So next up is Halo Mega Blocks. Something that we've done really well on mm -hmm. before. So always can have another go. It is built inside, mm -hmm. so that was a bonus, because I don't like building Lego <laughs> or Mega Blocks. So this is the 97015, I think it's the Convent. Covenant. Covenant. Covenant, there we go. We paid £10, which is slightly more than I wanted, yeah. but I knew there was a little bit left on that. So we're going to list this for around 40 to 45 depending on the condition when we actually look at it properly. Yeah, happy days. I mean, I, I thought 20 to 30 at a minimum, so if we get 40, absolute bonus. Still in its box. Hopefully, yeah. someone wants this for Christmas. I think that's what's going to add a little bit of value to Definitely. it. Definitely. So. Okay, so we know that Kenwood's a good brand, mm -hmm. so when we found this for £2, we had to buy it. So this is the Kenwood SL250. It's an electronic food slicer. So I've done a little bit of research. There's only one available at the minute for a £15 auction, um, but they've sold anywhere up to 50 so I mean we can try luck maybe try 40 to 50 buy it now and see where we get on yeah it does appear to be brand new oh, so there um, we, go. we will take it out and double check it may have been used and then just put it away yeah. nicely but, but if it's been looked after and it's in good condition. well that's the thing even if it has been used but it's in good condition mm. then it's well worth it so yeah if you want to slice some bread or slice some meat this Christmas <laughs> Sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, £2. Kenwood's always good to look out for. So from the same lady that we paid £20 for all those toys, we also paid £20 mm. for a bundle of electronics. So we're not too sure if they're going to work, as it's the same lady, as we said, buys from the tip. But, yeah. but even for spares, we're happy Well, that's the thing. Like, as long as you're not paying too much, which, you know, the prices are really fair. And yeah, we try and buy as much as we can because we want her to make some money. Mm -hmm. We want her to come back every week. Yeah. We make some money. Everyone in the community is earning a living. So first up is three PS3s. We said on our Thursday Thrifter Talks that we've, we never pick up the PS3s, but we learned recently that PS3 with four USB slots at the bottom mm -hmm. is the backwards compatible one, and they are really worth picking up. So we paid 20 pounds, like Jack said, for the whole bundle, three PS3 consoles, for parts not working, these sell for around 20 to 30 each. Working, 60 to 70. Yep. So 
even on that basis of them not working, that's still 60 quid, you're tripling your money exactly. just on the console. Exactly. And the lady was very honest. She said, you know, that it's all sold as seen, untested. <laughs> so we're not expecting things to work. You never know, things may fall through the net and we get a winner on them. So again, in that bundle was this JVC video camera. So this is the GR DVL-167 EK. They're working, this sells for around 70 pound, or if the part's not working, 20 to 30, so. Yeah, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. However, I'm hopeful because it, it's got instructions, the camera obviously, um, tapes and loads of cables. So it, I think there's a strong chance it might but as Em said, even if it doesn't, we're looking at 20 to 30 pounds. So yeah, very happy. Always worth picking up your vintage video cameras. Then we've got this Ace Attorney Justice For All video game. So we should get around 15 pound plus postage for this. Yeah, it's just one of them games. I didn't know it, but it, it just, it, it looks... Stuck out. Yeah, it stuck out, a sort of anime <laughs> sort of styling. Capcom. Some, yeah, some of them can be really good. And I thought at least 10 pounds. So if you get 15, absolute mm -hmm. bonus. Shred. And last up from the £20 bundle is four video game controllers. You've got two 360 ones. Mm -hmm. So this one is a rock candy, sort of third party. Mm -hmm. This one's official. Yep. And then two original, the older original Xbox. One has a breakaway cable, one doesn't, but we can always get another. If you don't pick up video game stuff very often, the old Xbox controllers require a cable to plug in. So at least we've got one, so I can test mm -hmm. both. And then if it works, I can order another cable online, not official, but it'd be a couple of pound, and then we can get that sold. So if you pick a cable up and it's just got that, remember you will need to buy a cable like that. Like I said, a couple of pound on eBay, nothing too major. Hopefully we get them tested. If they work, get them sold. We're looking at 10 to 15 on the originals. 15 to 20 on the 360, and then around 15 free postage for this rock candy one. Yeah. So I'm hoping if all four are faulty, we'll still get £10 the pair and £10 the pair of them yeah. if they don't work. So let's say £20 at least. So that's great from another £20 bundle. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. Not something we've picked up before, but boating stuff can be really expensive. It is a just chilling sort of, I don't know the correct name for it, but you see them on yachts and boats. It's obviously a life buoy float. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's just for show or if it's for safety, you know, you throw it in and hopefully get someone out, hopefully but yeah, but it was two pound, so we're always going to have a go, we'll give it a clean up and hopefully someone might want it. It may not go now, it may go in the summer, hopefully 20 pound, but we'll have to wait and see. So then we paid 10 pound for this Tilly lamp and also this camping gas. Yeah, it's a gas camping heater, um, so yeah, it's a nice little baby heater. So yeah, so that would go onto a bottle and yeah, that is worth about... 10 to 15, so not loads of money, but I've never picked one up before. So I wanted to have a go, because I wanted to pay for my education and see what it was worth. Then we've got our trusty Tilly lamps. This should get us around 20 to 30 pound. It's in really nice condition to Really nice, it's missing the handle, but as Em said, it's in really nice condition. Yeah, 20 to 30, 10 to 15 on that. So maximum 45 pound from our 10 pound investment, but minimum 30 pound mm -hmm. from 10 pound, quick and easy. Triple our, board. Triple our money. <laughs> so then we've got this Petzl helmet. This owes us a couple of pounds and we should get minimum 15. So it's for climbing slash caving, size one. Yeah, it's quite small, it wouldn't fit on my big head, but we have done really well, as we've said a couple of times now, on climbing gear previously. You would have seen our sales video. If you haven't checked it out yet, we've just released on Sunday our November sales. Mm -hmm. And one of the things in there was some climbing gear, roofing gear, which was 80 pounds. So yeah, we always pick up if you see it for the right price. Okay, so now we've got a Pokemon Battle Arena. So this would originally come with figures to obviously battle yeah uh this only owes us a pound and we should get minimum 20 pound for it obviously it's just the arena but it sells the original box it's just pretty cool yeah it goes for more with the figures obviously mm -hmm. but even if we got 10 to 20 that is awesome from a pound and pokemon is on a hype right now really really popular mm -hmm. so definitely pick it up if you see it okay next up is a hercules folding guitar stand now i wouldn't usually pick up guitar stands unless mm -hmm. they're branded because you get a lot of generic ones that are just plain black standard and you might get a couple of pound mm -hmm. they're not big money but when i saw that the name hercules i thought okay this is you know this is pretty good this could be something quite nice so yeah we paid 10 pound for this and the next item so we can call it a fiver each, but this will hopefully get our money back on both items. So this should sell for around 15 pounds, which is what we wanted to pay for the next one. Now this just drew our attention just for the oddity of it. 
and it's, we just thought it was cool. Anything brass, I feel, has been made well mm. and is worth something. It reminds us, I think, a bit when we were travelling. Yeah, it reminds us of when we were in Nepal and India and they were dumplings. Yeah, so. sort of like mimosa sort of thing. Um, momos. Momos, not mimosa. <laughs> mom momos. Uh, Mimosa's a cocktail. <laughs> mimosa? Oh, I don't know. Momos, momos, yeah. But, but it could be to boil eggs. It could yeah. be for dumplings, as I said. I have no idea, but we're going to do some more research. Um, it looks cool though. It is cool, it is cool. I don't know what it's worth. No, but like we said, we paid £10 for the pair of the items, so... Yeah, I'm hoping... Well, it will, it will do. The guitar stand will pay for both, so we can sit on this a little... Oh, so we can sit on this a little bit longer and do some research mm. and find out what it's worth. Okay, so last up from the hall today is this massive lot of train Hornby old locomotives and carriages. So you might have seen us in the footage if I captured it. We bought, we're buying one lot. It was from the same guy, but we had already bought one lot for 30 pound. We went back and paid 95 for the others that he hadn't got out yet. So in total, we have paid 125, which is a big spend, but I'm really hoping there's some good stuff in here. Just at first glance, it's a nice locomotive there. It does have the tender as well. And we're hoping this should be around the 30 to 40 pound mark. Maybe it, was, maybe it was that one. But yeah, 125. Hopefully we will at least double our money. But once we bundle it up, and put a few, there's some bits that won't be worth much, but you bundle it up and some, the buyer can get a bargain, we can earn a few pounds and yeah, get it listed on eBay and get it sold. Right, so that was our haul. Yeah, plenty there. It was nice, we didn't go too mad. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we bought a few really good bits at a good price that hopefully we can make a good profit on. So it's been really nice to be able to get out of the house and go have a look, really. Yeah, and see a few friendly faces that we know, mm -hmm. spend a little bit of money, and hopefully make some money. But it's just nice, as yeah. Em said, to get out of the house, have a little mung about and see what we find. So yeah, we just wanted to quickly talk about our December giveaway. So it is December. <laughs> so each week up to Christmas, we're gonna be doing a giveaway, as we mentioned in our last video. So if you haven't already checked that video out, I'll put it in the eye up above. And all you have to do is you have to watch the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, comment down below on the video. Yeah, just comment below on the video anything, just how your sales are going, or just come and say hello, and then join us tomorrow, Thursday, mm -hmm. for our Thursday Thrifter Talks at 8 p.m. with Car Boot Chris and Bargain Bell, and we're really looking forward yeah. to the chat. We'll have some questions for them, have a laugh, and then do a giveaway. So we're gonna cut to a clip now of the prizes that you can win this week. Obviously, each week it's gonna increase in value. Yeah, so each week is a little hamper from our company, Reborn Rewild, a few little goodies in there, and as Em said, each week it's going to get bigger and better. But this week, there's enough in there that you could gift a few stocking fillers to your family and friends or keep some for yourself. So yeah, we just want to give back to you guys. You guys have been so supportive since we started this little journey in June, yeah. which I cannot believe. It's almost been six months. That's crazy. Yeah, it's gone so fast, mm. but we are loving every minute of it. We enjoy sharing our journey and also watching yours and chatting with you guys as well. So also leave a comment on this video down below. Let us know. Is your car boots open? Are you going to be sourcing more charity yeah. shops? Yeah, I mean, some of the shops are open today. So, yeah, fingers crossed you're finding some bargains and we get it all sold before Christmas. So, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And also the bell so you're notified for any future content. <laughs> She's still in my lines now. <laughs> right, have a lovely day, guys. Take care and stay safe. So, we'll see you tomorrow at 8pm. And other than that, we'll see you soon for a brand new video. Take care.